Hello everyone. I went to the Stampin' Scrapbook Expo in Orlando, June 2nd through 4th, 2022. And uh, I actually got to do the whole weekend. Usually I just go up for a day and shop at whatever expo is near me. Now that happens to be the Orlando one. But I did the Mega Make and Take. I did eight classes and then a lot of shopping. So this video is going to be the haul video of what I got. And then I will have another video of the classes that I took, including the Mega Make and Take, that shows what you got, what you made, and all that kind of stuff. Because a lot of the classes you get product with. So when I'm looking at going to an expo, I view videos like this to kind of see a little bit more than just what the picture and description shows about the class. I like to see what the finished product looks like in person, so to speak, or um, what you get with the class in person. So... That video will be a separate one. So this video, I'm going to show you what I got. I'm going to start with uh, Petticoat Parlor. Um, for spending, I think it was like $20 or something, you got a 2022 title. And I picked one that went with Animal Kingdom because I went there last month. So I also went to Magic Kingdom after the expo. So I got this and I got this. And then these are the ones that I got for Animal Kingdom. So just some titles. And then I got this because I plan on going to Nintendo Land whenever it opens up. Probably in California first before it gets here to Florida. But I'm going. I grew up on playing Mario and stuff, so I'm interested in going there. And then I got one stamp set, Coffee and Donuts. And I love making coffee-themed cards. I don't know why, because I'm not a coffee drinker, but it's just a fun theme to work with. This says, coffee and friends make the perfect blend. So I think that's a cute stamp. That is Petticoat Parlor. And then I have Stamp Anything. So they had some shaker bits. And I don't know how much these were, and these are not priced, but I know they were not more than $4 a piece. They were pretty typical for shaker bits. So here's some chicks with cracked eggs. I really like the little cracked eggs there. There are some cupcakes. And here's some lips for the makeup shaker kit that I have. There's a lipstick tube in that. I got this for my Animal Kingdom pages. I use the Mosaic Moments scrapbook system a lot now where you use smaller pieces of paper. So you can actually use 6x6 six six a lot. So I got that. I got this spring surprise. Party Times, a nice birthday one. Summer Tropics. Bake Shop with a little donuts. I'm not flipping through all of these just because it's, the video would be so long. You can kind of get an idea of what the papers look like on the front there. So to save us some time. And then I did go to... A booth that had some random papers, and I don't remember what it was. There were so many booths that had, like, individual sheets of paper. I don't remember. But um, I got these dogs. I got two of them. And then I got the cats. And then the cat one on the other side has dog bones and fish, so you can use this for cats and dogs. And then I got this fishing paper. I'm trying to make some more masculine cards. So I did get some fishing theme stuff this time because that's been a request I've had because I sell my cards. So that's just something that people have asked for. Masculine, like sports theme stuff, that kind of stuff. These I got from the um, Faith Art logos. I'm not sure exactly what the name is, but they do the Bible journaling. And that's just two sheets of butterfly paper. I just really liked the paper. It actually goes with the collection that we got for the Mega Make and Take, which I'll show you in the other video. But I really liked this paper. Then I got this paper pack at the um, Scrapatique, I think it was called. Scraptique, something like that. Um, I, like I said, I have a makeup shaker kit that has, you know, nail polish bottles, lipstick, um, mascara. So this is just a really cute paper line for that. I actually have some of this paper, but it's discontinued. So I went ahead and got it. It was $15, which was more than I wanted to pay for it because it is discontinued and has been for a little while now. But... I wanted it and can't really find it anywhere now, so I got it. Then there was a booth that was doing 
um, Doodle Bug, and they had some other stuff. I want to say it was KNC Creativity, but I'm not 100% sure if that was the one it was at. So I got a few of these little Doodle Bug sprinkles. They're like little epoxy, but they're like six bucks a piece. They're not cheap, and that's kind of their regular price, so these were not really on sale. But I liked those three, so I got them. And then these little Doodle Pops are $2, so I got that. Again, that's the typical pricing. That was not a sale. And then there's a new Doodle Bug paper line called My Happy Place that I was waiting for to come out. So I got some of the papers from that line. Instead of getting the whole kit, I tend to gravitate more towards getting individual sheets of just the ones I like because it's very rare that I like the whole kit. But that, I mean, that one has a lot of good papers in it. Some plants and succulents. Just some leaves on the other side. Some little coffee cups. Just some dots on the other side. And then this is from their Great Outdoor line. I love this paper. I have the little 6x6 pad. And I may have some 12x12 sheets of this already. But I love this. This is the best log cabin paper I've ever seen. And I actually have a log cabin shaker. I buy a lot of Queen & Company kits. So let's just put that out there right now. A lot of the shaker kits I mentioned are from Queen & Company. So I like to buy papers that go with those themes. It's got wood grain on the other side. And then the stars. I love these stars. This actually would be a good background for like a birthday card as well. It has little animals on the other side. And then this one just has like words. Like tone on tone. And then I got two sheets from the party timeline. There's a, go a girl and a boy version of this paper. I have the 6x6 six six pads. It's actually one of my favorite birthday lines. Um, it's Party Time and Hey Cupcake is the other one, um, the girl one. But I love the colors, and I love Doodlebug just because it's so bright and vivid. But there's so many great patterns in that line. I think it's probably discontinued or about near discontinued. It's harder to find now. I found it a few places. but And then I have from the Keep It Simple booth, they were offering, um, I think it was like 15% off. The night of the Mega Make and Take, or maybe it was 25 or They offered a discount. That's all I remember. Um, so this paper pad, like their 12 by 12 collections were 50% off. So, so it's got the little sticker, 50% off. Um, so I got this Max and Daisy. Um, so I did buy the whole collection kit because they brought it down to $8. And it's got a lot of paper. It's got die cut chipboard in there. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it's got... Uh, cat and dog shakers, so I have um, things I can use this for. Granted, I already have a lot of cat and dog stuff, but couldn't pass up a good sale. And then these stickers are $4.99. Again, there was a discount, but I don't remember if it was $15 or $20, $25. All I know is the Mega Make and Take Night had great deals, so it's a good, good thing to go to. And then Expo Dave, who has uh, Hill Street stamps now, his little company there. Um, I got two of his stamp sets. I got this one because I loved this little snowman. And I love this sign with the ice. And you can stamp the little sayings inside. So I thought that was cute. Truth be told, I did not need another Christmas stamp set. But I could not help myself. And I got this fishing stamp set. Again, just trying to incorporate a few more masculine things into my collection. But I like this, this boat. That's a, a nice looking dog, you know, nice realistic. I like realistic looking animals in stamps. I don't like all the kiddish looking ones. And again, another little sign that you can stamp sayings into. So I thought this was a really good set. It was $20.99. And I, again, I, I want to say 15 to 25% off. And this uh, Christmas one was $14.99 regular price, but I did not pay that for them. And then I went to um, Miniature Luxuries, I think it was called. And I just got, I just wanted this Stemperia line that had the um, the Animal Kingdom looking stuff. So this is not easy to see probably, but this gives you an idea what papers are in this little 6x6 pad. It's a very thin pad. It's only got 10 papers in it. Um, and I don't remember how much it was. It probably was around five bucks or less. It, I know I wouldn't have paid more than that for it for just being 10 papers. But then I got some individual lines. For that animal one, the Savannah is called, they had two different packs 
of that. So there's two different, it's like the same line, but two different sets of papers for it or something. So I got some single sheets of ones that just reminded me of Animal Kingdom. Like the ones that look kind of tribal and, you know, not quite zooish, but a little bit zooish. I think I got three of this one. I don't know if I meant to get three of that or two of that. I don't remember, but I have three. Okay, and then I have Tall Mouse. They had a bin that had $5 dies. So I got these fish. I have an under the sea card or shaker kit. So those would be cute. I got this cupcake border that goes along the side of a card. I thought that was cute. And I got this tree line because I just think that's a good thing to have. You can use that for winter cards, outdoor cards, masculine cards. They had shaker bits. Now these were $4. They had this Harry Potter one. Look how cute that is. It's got the Deathly Hallows, the glasses, the lightning bolt, um, and then some looks like red, like confet or red sprinkles, I guess you would say. But I thought that was cute. And then they had this, I'm going to say it's like a coffee and donuts, but there's no coffee in it, but it's like a chocolate and donuts, but it, it would go good with a coffee themed shaker card of some sort. I got two of those because I really liked that one. And I tend to put a lot in my shaker cards, so I wanted to have enough of that. Then they have these ombre paper pads, which I'm sure are out there somewhere, but I just really never came across ombre paper pads. So these were, I think, two for $5 or something like that. They were very inexpensive. So I got the brights and the pastels. I will just flip through these real quick just to give you an idea of what they look like. But I think that that is a really unique paper pad, at least compared to the stuff I have already. And here's the brights. So yeah, just a, a nice, nice paper pad. Again, very reasonably priced as well. And I went to Eyelid Outlet like I always do. I've got probably every brad that they have and I need to use them more. I buy them in themes because you know, they go with stuff I already have, but then sometimes I forget to use them. I only got one roll of washi tape this time, which was the books. But I order from Eyelet Outlet a couple times a year online, so I do have a lot of washi tape from them. I'm just going to kind of quickly go through the brads. So I got pacifiers. I need to make some baby shower cards. Um, and some of these, like especially these bags with a line on them, those were a dollar. So I got these onesies. And I got little mice. These will kind of go with cat. And these are eyelets, but you don't need a eyelet tool of any kind. You just kind of use a um, pen or something and bend it down. So I got those flowers. So some of these were $3.29, which is their regular price. And some of these were $1.50. And then some came out of the dollar bin. They are all mixed up at this point. So I could not tell you. These are little fishing rods. You probably can't tell. but So I can't tell you which is which, but... I can tell you that that's the price ranges. This is like fishing lures and stuff. Toilet paper and tissues. Sorry, I wasn't on camera there. Some more flowers. Dresses. Onesies. And I'm not sure if I paid regular price for these onesies because the other pack I got was in the dollar bin. And I didn't realize I had gotten those. I, for some reason, thought I had blue ones, but I didn't see any blue ones when I double-checked. Cars. But these are great things to just add to your cards. Like they, they add a nice embellishment and give you a little bit of dimension, but not so much that you can't mail it, you know? These are little fire hydrant eyelets for the dog and cat cards I'll make. Party hats. Books. The books are good for Harry Potter cards. Little fish. More fish. Band-Aids for my Get Well Shaker Kit. Dragonflies for my Dragonfly Shaker. Dog Bone Eyelets. Yeah, all those ones in the clear bags are definitely a dollar. Barbecuing. Some cupcakes. I know these balloons were uh, half off. The pastel ones. They have bright colored ones that are not on sale. Iced coffee. They do have coffee ones, which I already have, so I did not buy, but they do have them. Camping. I have these gifts as well, but I love these. They're great for Christmas cards. Dog houses. 
Yeah, if you've never been on their website, you should check it out if you like little embellishments like this. So I'm just going through these fast because there's so many of them and I'm trying to keep the video as short as possible. Beer, I already have these for my beer shaker kit, but I got more and cupcakes. So that's all my eyelet outlet. And then um, Sean, who I believe works with the Expo as well, um, he has his own company out now called Scrappy Boy Stamps, I guess it's called. Um, so this dress die, my friend pointed out to me, and uh, he had some samples at his table. So you, you know, the card is in the shape of a dress, and you can make it, you know, almost eight. I saw a wedding card. I saw one like Dorothy, um, Mother's Day, you know, dress. It'd be, you know, really great. So that was twenty nine ninety nine. And he actually did the 15% off that he was offering. And then he gave me another 10% off um, because of the make and take the night before. Even though um, that was over, he gave me that discount, which was really nice of him. I actually took one of his classes too, so you'll see that later. I got this coffee bean and coffee cup stencil. I'm going to show you the back because you can't see it on the camera. But that's what it makes. Isn't that adorable? And then he has his own line of paper pads, which are adorable, and some of them are very unique. Like, this one's called Burlesque. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this, but it would be good for bachelorette-themed stuff, or um, I'm, I'm just not really sure what I'm going to do with it, but it was just very unique. It's got, like, the like lingerie-type stuff in it, heels, lipstick. So, I mean, I just thought that was different, so I got it. And I got this Under the Sea, which is a really nice paper pad. And again, I would flip through all these papers, but it would just make my video too long. So this one's called Chocolate and Wine. These papers are beautiful, though. Well, that one just has dots on the back, so it's not a good example. But these are beautiful. Here's the coffee one. Look at that. And I actually got two of the coffee one because I loved it so much. And I got this Oz one. I don't really have anything Wizard of Oz to do, but I like the poppies. I can use the apples for an uh, apple shaker kit. I like the rainbows. I like this basket weave, more rainbows. So the only thing that's super Wizard of oz -y is the, the sheet that actually has like the Emerald City and the red slippers and maybe the yellow brick road, which you can probably use for something else. But um, I didn't buy it for Oz because I don't have anything else Oz related, but he does have a stamp set. And we did do a make and take card that was themed that way. Um, from Scrappin' in the City, I just got two things, but I, I um, used to live near Scrappin' in the City, so I shopped there a lot, but at this expo, I just got the, um, she was selling the tailored expressions, they're like little mini calendars for 2023 that you can, you know, make, like a lot of people are doing the little mini calendars as a gift, making a, you know, little card size thing with them, and this brush holder, which I know you can't see all of them, you buy these in sections and you can tower them up for their blending brushes. So I bought one, two, three, four. Um, I think the four of them together cost around 50 some dollars. So um, and since I was driving, I had to just put them together for me so that I wouldn't have to worry about that. But I've got so many blender brushes now because I have the original tailored expression set. I got the pastel brushes, the black and white and the minis. I think there's like 16 minis. So I want all my blending brushes together. So this is going to be a way to make that happen. This booth is actually one of the last booths I visited and I had never bought anything from them before, but some of these stamp sets really jumped out at me. Um, this envelope die was just a freebie for my, you know, with my purchase. So I thought that was cute. I like to build scenes with stamps. Um, so I like these these scene building type stamps. So this one's like a living room set. It's got your chair, your know, rug. But it, I like the sentiments um, just sitting here thinking of you. I don't care much for these, you know, staying home is the new going out and let's stay home because I don't believe in that. I believe in getting out and socializing. But um, I do like the sitting here thinking of you. And I love all the little doodads there that you can put with them. And I love this little bed stamp set. Like, it's just so unique. I've never seen anything like this. I like the bed, so that's what caught my eye. But I love the sayings, today has been canceled, go back to bed, recharge and relax. To me, that would be a great birthday card. It's like, hey, stay home and relax all day kind of birthday card. Um, I love you more than I love my bed. Let's stay in bed. So, I mean, I don't know that I would use those sentiments, but I would probably use these too. And I like the little 
the little cat that can lay on the bed and the little plants. I just, I like steam building. So I'm hoping to make some really cute things with that. And then here's another coffee one. I know you're surprised. Um, this coffee bean heart really got me with this one. That's what drew my eye to this stamp set. And then the second thing that I really like is this coffee cup that you can put um, the box on there. You know, amazing, awesome, fantastic, incredible, wonderful. And, you know, check the little box. I thought that was cute. So I got those from Sugar Peas Design. Um, they, I don't think they had a sale. I think you just got like the free gift with purchase. So the coffee bean was $17.99 and the other two were $14.99. So I'm pretty sure that they were not discounted though. So there's that. And then I have some things from Rubbernecker. I took four Rubbernecker classes, so I did get an additional 10% off. And they were doing a buy four, get one free with the stamps and dies, and you could mix and match. So I got this mini slimline scallop rectangle. I don't make a lot of mini slim lines, but I would like to start making some because I do get tired of the standard A2 size. So I do want to start making some more five by sevens and some regular slim lines and some mini slim lines. So these were $27.95, which is kind of typical for dies. I mean, dies are expensive no matter how you look at it. So I got these two, it's cat and dog. And I love the little cat butts. I think that's adorable. And then you got the cat fronts. So I thought the fronts would be cool on the outside of a card. And then the butts, I, I usually use a strip of washi on the bottom of my, inside of my card, like right down here. Instead of doing that, I would stamp the butts because that'd be like the inside. Um, it says, happy birthday. You're one year closer to crazy cat lady. Cats are like potato chips. You can't just have one. Home is where the cat is and you're the cat's meow. And then the same thing with the dog. Life would be rough without you. All you need is love and a dog and a true friend leaves paw prints on your heart. So, and these were $14.95. Then I got this golf-themed birthday setting set. My father-in-law likes golfing. There's a person at work that likes golfing that I've made birthday cards for, stuff like that. So, um... Golfing is a theme that I've been making more cards of. So there's a lot of great sayings on here. I'm just going to kind of hold this here for a second so you can kind of look at it. I'm not going to read them all off because there's a lot. But I think it's a really, really cute set. And of course, you can always pause the video and look at them. Then something else I was happy about was a Mother's Day saying stamp set. Because these are hard to find. I've actually gone to lots of websites and searched for Mother's Day sentiments. I found one or two that I wasn't, you know, super crazy about, but I really liked this one, and there were so many different sayings on there. And then I bought this card kit from their Mega Make and Take booth, like the night of the Mega Make and Take, they had a mini booth, and they did, one of our projects was one of these slim lines, so they had Christmas card kits still available, so I bought one of those for $6. That's what I got at Rubbernecker. And then, let's see. Creek Bank Creations. Now, I took three of their classes, and honestly, they were actually my favorite classes. They had interactive cards. This stamp set I didn't buy. I think they, this was a freebie that they put in my bag because I had never seen it, and I pulled my, my stuff out, and I was like, where did that come from? So I think it's something they put in my bag for spending so much money or whatever. But it's cute. Today is the oldest you've ever been and the youngest you'll ever be again. That's a cute birthday one. I got these M&M shaker bits because they're adorable. I love M&Ms. And I have a donut size, like a donut shaped shaker card from Queen & Company that I've made a pizza. I've made it into an Oreo cookie. I've made it into a regular cookie, a donut, um, oh, just all kinds of stuff. But I wanted to make it into an M&M and now I have inside shaker bits for that. These are little sticky Velcro dots. These will make a little bit more sense to you when I um, put up my class video because we used these in class. So um, I'm sure some of you have used these kinds of things on your cards before where it's a Velcro, you know, so you have an enclosure that you kind of open and close the card. And then these are the snap things to make the slide cards, which again will make more sense when you see my class video. They were like five bucks a piece. And then wobbles. We've all seen wobbles probably, but again, we use this in class. And I've used them before, but I did decide to go ahead and buy some. I think I have some here 
they were nine bucks, which honestly I didn't realize at the time. That's a lot to me, but I will use them. This was a freebie die that I got in one of the classes that ended up in my haul stuff. The other freebie dies are with the classes, I think. So that's a freebie die set. Then they have their own paper collections, which I think are also adorable. And this one's graduation. Obviously, it's too late right now, but I did get requests before for graduation cards. So I really liked this paper. So I went ahead and got it. So next year, I will be able to make some. St. Patrick's Day. These are Christmas delights. So it's got glitter and like this weird like marbleized. What's neat about it though is there's no texture. It just looks like glitter paper, but it's not textured like glitter paper. So it's like glitter paper without the mess. So I got that. And then same thing with the mermaid paper. Um, glitter without the mess. The bee paper. We used this paper in class and I loved it. I actually went to their booth first thing before I went to any of their class and bought all these paper pads. Well, not all of them. Most of them I bought beforehand. Some of them I bought after, but um, I already looked at their website and knew I wanted these, so I bought them so they wouldn't sell out of them. And then they were doing a buy three, get one free of their... I think you can mix stamps and dies, but at least with the dies. So again, mini slimline. I got regular rectangles. Since I got scalloped rectangles from the other company, I got regular ones for this one. This is the slit die that makes slider cards, which again, I'll show you in my class video. That's kind of what they look like. And this is their gatefold card. This is where we use the um, little Velcro things to close it up. Again, we'll make more sense in the video. <laughs> so that's what I got from them. Um, then let's see, I have Be Creative. I'm telling you guys, I bought a lot of stuff, so. This was a $3 die. They had a table with $3 die, so I got that. I got some more of this two inch score tape because I like to cut two inch strips of white cardstock and lay it out on these and just cut a bunch of strips. Then I stamp a bunch of sentiments, like I'll do a bunch of birthdays. So then I'll cut them apart and I have a basket of sentiments. So when I go to send out a card, all I have to do is pull out a sentiment, peel off the back and stick it in the inside of my card. I also do that for the classes I teach with cards so that they have sentiments for the inside. On the Mega Make and Take night, they did um, adhesives, buy three, get one free. So I've been looking for this pixie tape. It seems like it's been hard to find lately. Or maybe it's the purple tape I was looking for that was hard to find, but the pixie tape is very similar. So this is good for holding down stencils. Um, I can also use it to hold stuff down on my brother's scan and cut mat since the stickiness is worn out. I know there are ways to bring the stickiness back but I seem to have a lot of paper residue and stuff on there. So I'm going to use this to hold those down. So I did the buy three, get one. And then I'm trying to finish up my tri-blend marker set. Um, so I already knew I needed these three sets. There's still some individual markers I need, but these three sets will come, you know, bring me at least three quarters close to just completing my whole set. Tri-blend markers are the best markers I've found for blending on like blending paper like stamping images and coloring them. Copics are great, and I don't have any of them right now, but um, I like these because you get all three shades in one pen, so it's nice. So I got the vintage blends, the jewel shades, and the woodland shades. These were normally $30 a piece, like normal. That's a normal price, but they had a special that um, you could get three of them for $70, so I got $20 off, so it was almost like getting one free. Not quite, but almost. We're getting near the end. We're getting near the end. I think I only have two more vendors to do. Photoplay got me again because they offer the most amazing deals. Um, as most of you know, they do the 12 by 12 collections for four for $20. And then every one you buy after four is only five bucks. You can't buy these collections anywhere else for $5. There are $15 collections. So I got those. The paper pads were like $2 a piece or something like that, or or four or five for $10, something like that. They were really cheap. Like, I want to say like $2. Um, so, and then they had these green dotted items that were, there was green, purple, and pink. It was $2, $2.50, and $3 or something like that. So I don't remember exactly which one the green was, but 
I didn't pay more than $3 for any of these dotted items. So I got a few 6x6 six six background stamps. I love this wave. I got the, the leaves and stuff. I thought that was cute. And I got the birthday themed one. So those are stamps that you would put in your Misty or something. Then they had some that were zip tied together, which is a stamp and die set and $8. So they had some individual ones that were $8, which is still a deal because they're 15 bucks regularly. I think they're 13 to 15 bucks. Uh, but these particular ones that were zip tied were only $8. So I thought this bathtub set was cute. I love it. So I got the stamps and the dies with that one. And then they had a fishing one. So again, I got a few fishing things this time. Because I didn't have anything like that. So I got those. This was a freebie with purchase. I think if you spent $30, they had a section of stuff that you could pick from. So this is one of two freebies. Because I actually went back a second time and got more. So, so yeah, so these were the paper pads. I Again, I want to say two bucks or something. This one and this one are the two best Christmas lines I've ever seen. Like, Photoplay has beautiful paper. I love it. And I have a few of these already, but I went ahead and got them because, again, they discontinue their lines and bring out new ones. And these are just right up my alley with the bright colors and everything. Some of them have more traditional colors. I love the bright colored Christmas stuff. So that is what I got those for. And then they have these basics, which, again, I already have. But they're basic backgrounds. I mean, you can use these for anything on cards. So I got the four different ones that they had. I got individual paper. This one's like a Father's Day type paper. It's got license plate. I bought it for the screws on the back. So for like tool cards or cars, stuff like that. And then I got the Mickey. So little black Mickey heads, big black Mickey heads. Little red, big red. This was one of like the $3, see the purple dot here. I think this was like a $3. This is part of the Whiskers line. And I don't know if you get one of every sheet or if they just put, I think it was one of each sheet because I've already opened this and looked at it and I already have this collection. So I believe you just get one of each sheet. They're normal collections, you get two of each sheet. But And then this is like an outdoors scene. Um, it's Camp Happy Bear. And this one actually came with ephemera. So... This one, I'm pretty sure it was like two, three dollars. I know it was not more than three, so that's a good deal. And then these are the collections that I got. Um, I tried to get ones I didn't really have. I have most photo play stuff that I want. I think I had bought a few sheets like individually from scrapbook.com of this line. So I went ahead and got the collection. Again, five dollars per collection, so you can't beat that. I did have this one, but I used quite a bit of it for some religious themed Easter cards. I make a lot of cutesy Easter cards, but I've also gotten requests for, you know, more religious ones. So this one, um, it's got some of the cute things back there. So I got another one of those because this one started becoming very hard to find. Frostival, I don't have this one. I like the little snowman faces right here. So these would be good for some wintry themed cards. Of course, these come with all the paper and the stickers. I have had requests to make some sports themes, birthday cards, like football, baseball. So because these were only $5, I got them. I would not have bought them for $15 because I don't need them that bad. But since they were only 5 bucks, I did get a football and I got a baseball. I got this Grease Monkey line. I looked at it before for masculine cards and I you know, wasn't really in love with it a lot. But again, it was only $5 instead of $15. So this is another one that I wouldn't have bought without getting a discount, but it would make really good masculine cards. I like that tire tread there. So I feel like after this expo, I have really um, increased my masculine stash a little bit. This is the sweetest honey line. I actually have a few of these sheets individually, but not the whole collection. This was a $2 set, I think, but it's the Grand Canyon, which I plan on going to eventually. I've been to Arizona so many times and still have not gone to the Grand Canyon. This was a freebie. This is a scrapbook themed um, paper line. And honestly, I think I got this last year as a freebie or at least something similar to it. Um, so I may actually have two of those now. I'm not sure, but it was free. So this is like a get well. It's called Under the Weather. So I thought that was cute. And the coffee one. And I have, um, I know I have this sheet individually, but I don't know that I have any of the other pieces. So I went ahead and got it. But it's got a lot of cute cute stuff so 
So that was photo play. And last but not least, I believe I'm on the last one here. Crazy Creations. Now, full disclaimer, I buy a lot of stuff from Crazy Creations, so I didn't need any of this stuff, but they had great deals and it was fun meeting them in person because I watched them online all the time and they were super sweet. So um, I got a lot of cool stuff. So I'm gonna go through this stuff. This was a freebie sticker. If you put your email um, on a card, put it in a box, you got a freebie sticker. Um, I got a couple card kits. I already have some of these, but I love them, so I got them again. I, I love this camper one. I don't even go camping, but I just, I like to make stuff like that. And I got two of this bathtub one because this sticker is not available on their website, and I love it. I, just like that bathtub stamp. Like, I just, I love the idea of the bathtub. It's like a good, a good relax and enjoy your day kind of card for a birthday. So I got two of those. I do like to change up the papers in these. I usually make one like their sample and then I use my own papers for the other two cards, but these kits do make three of the same card. But I've got so much like cool paper to use, I have to use some of my own paper sometimes. This little guy here. And they did give me a couple things. This this card kit actually they they gave me because I shop with them a lot, I guess, and I love them, and maybe now they love me too. Um, then they had a table, well, they had a table set up for the Mega Make and Take, so I bought some of this during the Make and Take, some of this at their booth, and then one of the nights of the crop, they came in and did a flash sale. So the flash sale stuff, I know for sure, was all these stickers. They offered a whole table full of these stickers for a dollar. There was no way I could pass that up, so I'm just going to kind of go through these. Just some sentiments, some borders, just all kinds of stuff. Like, actually, a few of these outline stickers I actually got from Tesla's Crafts now that I think about it. I think I put them in with my outline stickers. So, these three I know came from Tesla Crafts. And I think the cat and the giraffes here did too. And these. So yeah, a couple of them came from Teslers, but then the rest of these are all crazy creations. And I ran out of these Valentine's Day ones because I made Valentine's Day for stuff, you know, for people at work or whatever. And ran out of those and they're not on the website individually. So I went ahead and got three of them because they were only a dollar. Snowman, the dog, more borders, Christmas sayings. This car one, is, I mean, you really can't see this. I'm sorry. You really just can't see it that good because it's silver, but it's got classic cars. There is a little bit. I'm going to color these black so that they're like their black outline stickers so they can see them better. Some skeletons, some snowflakes, chocolate, more borders. So yeah, I got all of those for a dollar. And then I got, they had glitter paper was like buy five, get one or something. Buy four, get one, buy five, get one, something like that. So I got some eight and a half by 11 glitter paper and I got some six by six. So I basically just got three of the warm highlights, three of the cool highlights. And then I got, oh, I won a $20 Crazy Creations gift card in the one of their drawings that the um, expo was doing. So two sheets of glitter paper I got for free or two packs because they're $10 a piece, but they are handmade and they're like super awesome. So now I have four cool highlights and four warm highlights of the big ones. Then they have these paper dolls that I don't normally get into, but um, they did give me one as a freebie, and then I did go ahead and buy uh, two other ones. But they have a chipboard. The doll fits on the chipboard, and you can paper piece and make its outfits different colors. But um, And it makes a tag, but I'm not going to make a tag. I'm going to make them a slimline card. So I got some of those. And then I got a sticker book. I already have like six or seven of these things, but these hold their stickers so it was there they were only 10 bucks their mega make and take table night was really great deals so these sticker packs were ten dollars as well instead of 13.95 so that made these only a dollar something a piece so that was pretty cheap this one's the masculine bundle and you can't really see them all but i know what they are because i bought their stuff a lot this one's sentiments This one's camping, like a camping and outdoors kind of thing. 
This one's the dog bundle. And then this one's the gnome bundle. I think, I'm not really into gnomes, but I think they make good masculine cards. And then the cat bundle. So that is everything that I got. And this video was still much longer than I wanted it to be, but that is all of it. I had a lot of fun. And I hope that if you're going to an expo soon, that this video was helpful for you. Everybody have a great day. Bye.